Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the app QuickMark. Now what QuickMark will do for you is it will um, use your FaceTime or iSight camera that you have built into your Mac and it will scan a QR code. So to demonstrate this, I will go ahead and open up the app. So this is QuickMark, it is currently $4 in the App Store. Um, and let's go ahead and click on Start. So over here, um, you can see it uses the uh, FaceTime camera or the iSight. Over here I have a uh, QR code. Um, let's see, just hold it up and you can see almost instantly um, it takes the QR code and um, gives it a uh, address. It, it takes it to the web page. Uh, so over here you can see I have a QR code. I just hold it up. Again, let's try to start right there. Um, and you can see it also has this um, noise it makes. It makes quick Mac like that. So um, you can um, you can scan QR codes like that. Um, let me show you another feature. Um, you could also see the history of what you've scanned. Um, they're having bugs with that, but they'll fix that soon. Over here, you can go ahead and uh, click on barcode generator. Now, what this part of the app is. Um, it's a uh, barcode generator, so you could make a contact, uh, contact information, um, a URL, an email, a phone, even a, an SMS, um, or a box of text. So, for the sake of this video, <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and um, enter a URL. So, let's say you want the URL to be apple.com. So, over here, we can click on create, and it will show us the uh, QR code. We can save this um, into our documents and stuff. But I'm not going to do that. Um, so, okay, you know what? Fine. I'll, I'll click on save. Um, save as a. We'll save that on the desktop. So, okay, save. And then over here you can see it shows up on the desktop. And um, we'll get to this one in a second. But over here you can see that it's saved on the desktop. And you could also, um, a cool feature in this app is you could drag it into um, the quick mark box. And it'll bring you to that link that, um, or the, uh, it'll decode the QR code um, if you drag it on. So uh, you could, let's go and make another QR code. Um, so in for the sake of this video, um, let's just put in a phone number. Like let's say we want to make it plus one. Um, this is just a random one. It's not mine. I mean, I guess you could try it. But I totally made it up. So click on create, and you can see that it even it, it, it um it changes the QR code. So we'll go ahead and save that. Um, again, we'll make it the so uh, desktop and save. Okay, so it shows up on the desktop again. Let's go ahead and drag it on, and it takes the decoded result and it puts it into a small box here. Uh, so you go ahead and save this uh, and stuff. So um, you could also make um you could also take. A contact from the address book and um, make that into a QR code. Over here you could also choose what type of QR code you want. So you have QR code, you have the quick code, and you have the data matrix. So we're going to click on quick code and we can see that this is what the code would look like um, in a quick code format. So let's make that C and we'll go ahead and save it again and we can see that it picks up the code. Um, hmm. No, that's a bug. Uh -huh. So it doesn't pick up the um, quick code. Um, but they, they'll fix that in an, up, an upcoming update. Um, they even told me in the email that the app still had bugs in it. Uh, so you can make it all types of different codes. Uh, you can make it in data matrix. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm make it a text box and write 8. And then save, I mean, no, create. And you can see that's very small. Um, so as I showed you, it's also a scanner. It's, you could um you could drag the codes onto it. So over here I have um a custom made QR code that I made um for myself. You could give you I could give you guys a, a nice preview here. Um, let's open with preview, and you could see um look at that. I mean, isn't that amazing? I made that by myself um using um, Microsoft Paint for Windows. So uh, again, we could go ahead and drag this either onto here. Or onto the icon, yeah, which is a little bit easier. Let's say you're, you you have an image. So here, let me show you this. Okay, um, let's go and Google QR code. So over here we have images. We could just go ahead and take one of these images. Let's say BBC, um, and drag that onto here. 
um, and you can see that it picks up the QR code that you've dragged onto it. Um, there are all types of different cool things you could do. Um, it'll even take the, um, if, see, for instance, this is, um, in a t-shirt, um, it'll find that too. It's, it can, um, uh, scan it and find it. Um, so let's try this even. No, it doesn't pick it up. Okay, let's try this. There are some cool QR codes out there that you could get ideas from. Uh, so let's try that even. Yeah, okay. So, back to um, the QR code that I made. Um, we're just going to go ahead and drag it onto uh, the dock or the application itself. Quick mark. And um, you can see that it picks up the URL and it goes directly to my YouTube channel. Um, that I put it in, uh, I gave it the link to. Um, so that's basically it. If you guys want to download this app, all the links that you will need will be in the video description below. Um, plus my Twitter, so follow me on Twitter. Um, and yeah, hopefully soon I'll become a YouTube partner. Um, so it would really help if you uh, subscribe now and, you know, kind of favorite my videos and whatever. Help me out. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching, um, and I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.